Yeah, Mike, Bo has been found alive and well. She's been a part of this school as sort of a pet and teaching aid in the science lab for more than 20 years, and she is big, about eight feet long and 75 pounds. She went missing, the superintendent says. He was notified at least around 10 o'clock this morning when an initial search and review of security footage didn't yield anything. He decided that just before one o'clock this afternoon to go ahead and send students home early. He says even though there was no immediate danger, he made the call out of an abundance of caution and to make the search easier with students out of the buildings. Students couldn't believe their ears when that announcement came over the intercom this afternoon. So you're like, is it poisonous? What, what's up with uh, the snake? Like what, what type of snake is it? How big is it? And um. Then we got some more information. Uh, with animal control, they had a uh, thermal imaging camera, apparently. And uh, between them and our facilities team working with them, they uh, found where it was likely, and they tore up part of the floor. And uh, Bo, that's the name of the snake, uh, she was uh, hiding underneath there, wrapped around a pipe. Uh, it was a new one on me today, I can say that. <laughs> Now, the middle and high schools share the campus here, about 400 students total, both schools dismissed early. And the superintendent says Bo got out of its, her enclosure through a broken hinge. And this isn't a science lab, so there is access under the lab stations under the floors where gas pipes and water pipes come up for those stations. Somehow Bo squirmed in through there and uh, got out of sight at least for about three or four hours at the schools here today. Live in Brentwood, Andy Banker, News 11.